Welcome to EdTech Hustle. In this video, we are going to create our own Funko Pop using AI with the program Microsoft Designer. Let's go ahead and get started. So to do this, you will need a free designer.microsoft.com account. You can sign up at that website. And once you're here, there's a lot of really cool things you can do with generative AI. But for this particular project, what I'm going to do is use another feature of Microsoft Designer, and that's complete a pre-existing text prompt. So if you saw my other video about creating 3D avatars with Microsoft Designer, this is going to be the same exact process. You can see right over here, we already have a prompt that was started. All I have to do is fill out these individual fields to generate my own Funko Pop. So now when you try this, I'm going to put the link to this individual prompt in the video description below. So go ahead and check out that link and you'll be able to create your own Funko Pop too. Okay, so I am done. Now you may notice on this that there, there will be a few fields that you don't necessarily want to use because you don't want them to be the visual of your Funko Pop. So what I do like about designers, you're not just stuck being locked into this actual template. If we select edit this entire prompt, I can go in and get rid of the parts that I don't want, like the canary yellow jacket and the blue jeans, that sort of thing. So I think that this is good right now. What I'm going to do is to go to generate, And here we go, we have two different Funko Pops that are on here. I think I like this one a little bit better. Not bad for a first attempt. You can see that there's still a little bit of odd text that's located here and here, but I think for the most part, this looks pretty good. So what I can do now is select the download button and I'm able to download a copy of this individual image. So I think this is pretty cool. So let's try one more. I'm going to go back to that link in the description and this time I'm going to create a Funko Pop of Elon Musk. Okay, so now I'm going to select generate. So take a look at this. You can see that it will not allow me to generate this image because Elon Musk is a public figure. They don't want you generating images of specific people, especially not public figures. So this is part of Microsoft's responsible AI. So this is part of Microsoft's responsible AI. So I wouldn't be able to do this. So if I wanted to create kind of like a parody, I would probably just change the name to Elon X, let's say. Let me go ahead and try to regenerate that prompt. Okay, so we've got our uh, we've got our Funko Pops right over here. Here is the first one with a nice big smile. Looks kind of cool. Let's try the second one. Here's the second one. So I kind of like how this looks. This is a really cool feature. You can find it at designer.microsoft.com. Again, if you want this specific prompt, I'm going to leave the link inside the description. So go ahead and click that and have fun creating your own Funko Pops. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this to be helpful, I would love it if you could subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.